Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Kingsep, and today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about overthinking and we're going to knock it dead. Now I want to chat about this, this concept of, of rumination, overthinking, worrying, because we all do it sometimes, right? Now last week's argument with your friend, the last words you spoke to your grandfather in the hospital, the team speech you gave at work, your previous performance appraisal, a conversation you had this morning. Do you know what can happen after all of these scenarios? You can think the hell out of it. And we've all done this and will continue to do this. And often it creates no problems. We simply think and then rethink them in the mind. Maybe we think of what we could have said or should have said and reenacted the scenarios happening in different ways. It can be frustrating, but most of the time we just we, we reach this point that we can move on. It's kind of like that song that can get caught in your head. I think they call them earworms. They play and they replay for a while, annoying, but then they disappear. But what happens when thoughts become a replay loop over and over and over again? What happens when we analyze and pull apart things that have already happened or are due to happen and we just become lost in the thoughts? There is no doubt that our thoughts are very powerful. They can create our reality. Many highly successful people have harnessed the power of their thoughts to help them achieve great heights. But many of us get caught in our inner worlds, our thoughts destructively and what I mean by that is, is that it's captured in what is called um, rumination and worry and many of us worry about what the future may bring making catastrophic predictions about things that haven't even happened yet we can also ruminate about the past beating ourselves up about could haves should haves must haves the ruminating is simply the clinical term for overthinking a simple definition of overthinking is to think about something too much or for too long. While it's human nature to think things through when making a decision, it becomes overthinking when you can't get it out of your head. Now, everyone does this sometimes, but when you get caught in a revolving loop of thoughts, it can be a red flag to do something about it. Maybe you're berating yourself for going to a family lunch because you caught COVID there or you're going over and over a tough Zoom call you had and are likely ruminating and this just can be quite frankly just oh, exhausting. And ruminating and worrying is not the same. Worry can be helpful in some instances. The reason being is, is it can lead to behavior or action that might reduce the risk. An example may be a parent who hears that her child is attending a party unsupervised. The worry that may develop from this can lead to the action of making inquiries of whether adults will be in attendance and a decision on whether their child should attend or look not. In today's climate, it may be hearing that a gym you've been following is not enforcing mask wearing for COVID concerns. And your action may be, well, look, I'm not going there. Overthinking can be linked with unhappiness. Unlike worry, which can lead to effective and helpful actions, overthinking or rumination is an endless loop you can get stuck in. It can also lead to sleepless nights, tossing and turning as you think and then rethink. It might feel like your brain just, like it's, it's just not turning off. Overthinking can lead to increased stress and difficulty making decisions and also problem solving. Often the thoughts you're thinking, they're simply just not rational. But there is light on the horizon. Remind yourself you're not alone and you were not born an overthinker. It's a habit or pattern you've developed. And just as habits can be learned, they can be unlearned as well. So let's get into a few ways to put overthinking to bed but not in your head. The first point is 
opening your eyes and sorting it out. Now what I mean by this is becoming aware of what you're doing. The first step is to become aware that you're overthinking things and caught in repetitive thoughts. Once you know this, you can choose to change your thoughts to problem solving ideas. An example would be a repetitive thought revolving around, I can't believe that they did this to me, which can be changed to, what can I do to try to stop this happening again? And the second point is, hey, look over there. Distraction is the key here. Redirect yourself to something that demands your complete focus of attention. Pull out a new recipe to cook. Read a good book. Watch a show on TV you enjoy. Do some exercise. Many people have told me that running or a short burst of intense exercise moves them away from ruminating. Choose something to break the compelling pull to a ruminative thought pattern. And the third point is getting it out of your head. Pull out a piece of paper or put your fingers to the keypad and journal it out. This can be a particularly helpful when caught in a thought loop and trying to go to sleep. Turn the light on, get it out of your head and onto the page or the device and then put it away. It helps to distance yourself from your thoughts. And the fourth point is be here now. And what this means is that it's challenging to go over events from yesterday and worry about tomorrow when you're in the here and now, the present. Mindfulness offers a practice to help you become more aware of the present. It does involve dedicated practice and persistence, but mindfulness can help you decrease unnecessary time spent overthinking over time. And the fifth point is put your thought on trial. Now what I mean by this is, how often do you become carried away with the negative, the unhelpful, the irrational thoughts? Rehashing a situation and thinking to yourself, they think I'm stupid or no one will talk with me again. Sometimes we need to understand our thoughts are exaggeratedly negative. So take a step back and look at the evidence for and against that thought. This involves challenging your thought, much like once again, putting your thought on trial. Now, I really encourage you to try a few different techniques to overcome this overthinking. And remember, it can be done. With practice, you can train your brain to think differently. This will improve your overall health and well being, improving. So, what are you waiting for? Now, thanks very much for watching, and I do trust this has been useful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, leave a comment, any other suggestions with regards to videos, very much welcome this. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.